So now let's work with the furniture and let's make something like a meeting room. So you do have some of the uh, shapes over of furniture over here, but I can actually get more options from more shapes right here. So I can go into more shapes and over here in maps and floor plans, so you can see that there's building plan and there are a lot more options that I can turn on. So I want to make a meeting room so you can see that I can turn on office accessories. I can also turn on the Visio 2013 version of Office Accessories right here, just like that. Also Office Equipment and Office Furniture, just like that. So I can also go for Planting. So let me just turn on Planting as well. You can see that there's Planting option right here. There's Point of Interest, Site Accessories and so forth. Also Cabinet. So let's uh, add in some Cabinet of Video 2013 as well and so forth. So there are alarm and access control right here, appliances. So let me see uh, what we have. So refrigerator, dryer and so forth. So you can see that I have a lot of these things in access. So I can also have map access, metro shapes and so forth. There's also irrigation, planting, plumbing and so forth. So uh, once I'm happy with what I have now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the uh, shapes. So I have office equipment and tables. So I'm going to go for office furniture right here. So I'm going to create a meeting room. So I'm going to go for uh, uh, the, there you go, a simple table right here. And I'm going to rotate this out. And if I want to change the dimensions of this, I can actually go into uh, the data mode. And I can also uh, enable the shape data window right here. So you can see that I can add in the details in inches right here as well. So with, let's say I want to add in something uh, like 12 feet, 12 FT, there you go. And the length is going to be something like six feet. Right, there you go. That's the table length that I have right here. So let me just zoom it in and you can see that there's the table right here. So now I'm, I want to work with um, on desk chair. So I'm going to add in uh, a lot of executive chair. So let's say this is a meeting room. So this is going to be a lot of executive chair right here. So there's one chair right here. Control C and Control V. There's another chair right here. Control C, Control V. There you go. Three chairs right here onto the side. This one, I'm just going to rotate this around. So rotate this chair around like here. There you go. Control C and Control V right here. Drag around and drag around. There you go. So everything is aligned well. One over here onto the top. Right. There you go. Let's take the Q-tip chair. And another one over here. There you go. So there's my furniture right there. There you go. So let's say I want uh, uh, some more uh, things around. Uh, around. So I'm, I want to add in something uh, like, let's say, a sofa. So a sofa at the corner of the room. Let's say, for example, it's located right here. Uh, in case like um, some people guess to join us. So this is the office space that I'm working with right now. There's also planting that you can add in. So confine a tree so you can see that you can add in a big uh, tree right here. Let's say that a tree is a bit too big. So I'm just going to delete that out. So I'm going to add in uh, something uh, small right here like this one. This is too big already again. So I'm not going to add in some decorations change of mind. So I'm going to go into cabinets. So uh, let me add in some cabinet at around the corner right here, corner of the room right here. That's the cabinet right here. And another things like office accessories. Let's, so let's see, there's the desk lamp. There you go. So desk lamp over here and another desk lamp, lamp over here. Let's see. Uh, another one. So there's square waste scan as well. So waste scan right over here. Let's say, for example, there's the last plant over here. So that's the decoration that I have and so forth. So you can see that you can really uh, work around with this appliances. Uh, I, I want to have a television uh, right over here, for example, maybe uh, around in this corner. Right there you go to do some presentations. Uh, I want to add in some water heater right over here. If, uh, in, if in case anyone gets thirsty, there's also food color coffee maker, for example. So I'm just going to add in coffee maker over here. So it lo really looks like a room right here. Let me just zoom that out. And now I can work around with the room and everything else. So now I'm going to go into uh, the appliances, the quick saves. Let's see what we have over here. So there's office accessories, there's wall shelves and furniture. Let me just go over to my 
room and drag this out. So let me just increase the size of the room right here. Let me just drag this out and add in doorway and I have my meeting room ready right here. So I'm going to add in a door over here. So you can see that there's the doorway and this is the meeting room. So that is how you can work with furniture um, and uh, design everything in detail inside of Microsoft Visio. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.